So, the news of the day, which will be the news of last week, probably, is that Joe Biden signed the historic $1.9 trillion China virus relief law, okay? Now, this is coming you, to you from the source of the video, which is going to be fake news politics, okay? Now, this happened. This happened. It's not fake. He signed his sweeping $1.9 trillion COVID-19 economic relief, which... I thought it was going to happen in the first place. I was pretty sure that there was going to be some sort of relief. I was hoping that if we won the Georgia races, um, that we'd be able to necessarily um, stop any large legislation from passing, but more so a watered-down version of whatever Biden or you know the people that pull his strings wanted. Um, maybe something like that shitty deal that Susan Collins had made up, I think, of like $600 billion in so-called relief and of course this bill is weak sauce and yes the republicans did successfully water this down a little bit so for the people that say that conservatives conserve nothing they did um ultimately um kind of they played defense and you know joe biden only got a field goal not a touchdown if you know what i mean and that's a good thing insofar as we are preventing bad stuff so it's a major it's a, this was a major opportunity cost mistake for the democrats because they did lose out on a lot of stuff that they did, that they did want to happen for example the 15 dollar minimum wage didn't happen now you could attribute that to the senate parliamentarian but of course all the republicans being united against it to an extent probably helped um persuade the senate parliamentarian or whatever that name is so ultimately that 15 dollars minimum wage is gone thank goodness another thing that is gone i think is that they changed the unemployment to last another month but they diluted the checks by a hundred so it went from 400 to 300 I, I'm, I don't know what that's supposed to mean i haven't thought about that yet and i think they've diluted it in other ways and they got rid of some of the pork that pelosi and schumer put in you know millions of dollars on bridges in their prospective districts and areas so i mean that's that and let's move on all right so of course he's going to do a little video about it um signing it i mean he looks old as hell savingly obvious of course now let's move on the key features of this plan is one thousand four hundred dollars per person stimulus that will send about money to ninety percent of households here's the problem with that if you're in the top ten percent which is a lot of people i mean that's like top ten percent is like eighty thousand dollars a year right that's not a lot of money that's that's moderate it's reasonable so in that case a lot of people aren't going to get checks. Now, if you make over a hundred grand, you're not going to get shit, probably. And even if you do get money as an upper middle classman, you are going to get a diminished check. Fourteen hundred is the maximum. Okay, you're probably going to end up with like two hundred or something. So that must piss a lot of people off. Most people are getting less money than what Donald Trump sent in the twelve hundred dollar stimulus because Donald Trump is the king, whereas Joe Biden is sleepy and he's a cheapskate. Okay. <laughs> Okay, there's an expansion of a child tax credit, which nobody talked about, of about up to $3,600 per child, okay? So, I guess that's a good thing, though, um, that's just temporary, I believe, so we'll see how effective that'll be, and $350 billion in state and local aid, so this is mostly useless. A lot of this, disproportionately so, is going to blue states that already had budget problems and are relying on the federal government to print money and bail them out. Now, a big issue of this is the criteria in which they use to calculate the aid to each specific state because conservative states do get money, but not as much as a percentile because they go by unemployment rate. So in a place like Florida that has a lower unemployment rate than the federal government, they will get less money than California per capita because their economic economy is better now that's not in dispute the question is why were they there in the first place and it's because of mismanagement you know big government democrats trying to shut down the economy and other stuff like that which is stupid at this point they should have opened several months ago and to not do so is them implicitly knowing that they could get bailed out by the government because they would not be able to sustain this by themselves and they are putting the tax burden on people from other states that are getting ripped off, okay? Now, uh, there's going to be billions of dollars 
to K three K through twelve schools to help students return to the classroom. Okay, well, what is that? Again, my school and my you know and people around me you know in Arizona we're doing fine. We don't need more funding. In fact, even before Corona, we had too much funding. The funding keeps going up, yet these liberal teachers keep bitching about their wages and, s and stuff like this. And you know, this this basically means that if anything, the teachers' unions need to shut up. And you know, of course, their money is going to influence the Democrats into keeping the schools closed because that's what their whiny little teachers want. Um, but ultimately, this is a waste of money, and a lot of it won't even be spent until like two years from now. So it's completely pointless. Okay. The checks will begin to hit bank accounts this weekend for those who have direct deposit info on hand at Treasury and the IRS. Okay, whatever. Later on Thursday, Biden will deliver his first per primetime address to the nation to mark the one-year anniversary of the pandemic shutdown. What is that? So no State of the Union, fine, and he's going to do an address. If it lasts longer than 20 minutes, I will give him credit if he doesn't fuck up. We'll see what happens. Of course, he'll be hugging the teleprompter, but so do most presidents. Okay, I don't care what his speech says. Apparently, more than 529,000 Americans have died from corona. I don't care right now about that because we're reading about the stimulus. Um, uh, the package includes $14 billion for researching, developing, distributing, administering, and strengthening confidence in vaccines. What does that mean? It's hokey dokey. This is complete nonsense. You could delete virtually all the fourteen billion dollars. It's just going to pay the big companies just to suck them up, butter them up. Bullshit. I don't like this. Now more than ninety five point seven million doses of the vaccine has been administered across the nation. They want to spend more on vaccines, which is stupid because I'm pretty sure we have all the vaccines we need. Of course they're gonna keep spending and spending and spending because they don't care about the future. And that is basically what I'm gonna be talking about. Now if we have the um, if we have the U.S. national debt to look at, it's looking pretty rough out here. So $1.9 billion, that's going to put us about three tr $30 trillion in the hole, which is fucking crazy. Wow. And this isn't going to be an excuse for Donald Trump because, of course, he spent too much money. But ultimately, that wasn't in his control as much. And, and the Democrats are really the ones that are pushing higher spending historically. So anyways, guys, this is pretty bad. Now, uh, politically speaking, is this a big one? Not really. It barely got passed at all. You know, no Republican voted for it. It was as a lot of pork in it. You could always criticize bills for the pork, which is not good for them. And, you know, people knew that stimulus was going to happen anyway. So, and the fact that it took until March to do it is kind of pathetic in my perspective. The The whole point of the stimulus is like, oh, we're going to get that worked out within like the first week or something. And that obviously didn't happen. It was like two months later almost. So not good enough. And again, 1400 is a disappointment when Don, when Donald Trump promised $2,000 checks, when Joe Biden himself promised $2,000 checks. It's going to be a disappointment when these people get 1400 at most and they say, well, what the fuck? I mean, Donald Trump would have given me more money. So, <sighs> yeah, I mean, is this going to stimulate the economy? Not really. It's, 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 it, this is a mess. Um, I thought this was going to pass. Right. I mean, I, I gave it a good odds of passing. I, I thought it was going to be like an, an outsized potential or a what I say, a, you know, a very rare chance where this would not have passed. And that would have been good. But it did pass. And is this a big win? I'd say from one to ten, it's probably a five. Nobody ex like everybody expected this to happen, basically. And not a big deal. When Obama got the stimulus done in 2009, it wasn't a big deal insofar as politically because it was going to happen under Bush anyway, so it doesn't matter. So not a big deal, guys. We will we will uh, recuperate our losses. We will probably hope to block HR1 and block more bills in the future. But until then, to the next video, I'm out.